Uh, what we're looking at here is a mosquito light trap. This is one of our more common traps that we use here in El Paso. The reason it's called a mosquito light trap is because it actually uses a uh, light bulb that is powered by a bat battery pack that's located right up here. The best way we can catch mosquitoes using this trap is we'll also attach two pieces of dry ice. The dry ice, um, as it melts, it goes from a solid to a gas, and the carbon dioxide that's emitted from those blocks of dry ice attracts the female mosquito. The female mosquito, attracted by both the light and by the dry ice, is taken into this area where a fan forces the mosquito down here. And I'll show you a quick view of what the fan looks like. And this is constantly on 24 hours a day. And like for example, today we'll go ahead and set up this trap. Tomorrow we'll come and uh, investigate and see what our results are. If we have anything, what we'll do is we'll close off the trap. We'll go ahead and wrap it up. We'll take it back to the office, process uh, males and females that we capture in here, and send them off to uh, labs in Austin, Texas. In Austin, what they do is they determine if they, uh, there are any disease-carrying mosquitoes, if they have any kind of uh, additional uh, viruses that they may be carrying. They'll usually inform us within about a week, maybe two weeks. It all depends on the amount of work they have. But the purpose of trapping the mosquitoes out here is to determine uh, if there is any kind of activity. West Nile has been found in this area. Uh, one of the ways we determine if there is West Nile active is to figure out which mosquitoes are carrying it. Austin does that analysis for us and they send us back the results. Depending on where they're at, we may increase fogging for the evening or do other treatments such as pre larviciding or possibly uh, spraying oils into the reservoirs. Zika is a big concern. That is the, uh, the catchword of the season. Uh, fortunately for us in this area, Zika is not present. It is in the country, but it's usually brought in, or at least the way it's been brought in, from people traveling south of the border into South American countries where the uh, Zika virus is present.